One of the most important parts of the preparedness triangle is water. And uh, it's been a big concern of mine. If uh, for some reason we don't have power, for example, a hurricane, um, tornado, uh, some kind of natural disaster, uh, earthquake, fire, whatever, and the water stops flowing, uh, we're going to be in pretty bad shape because you can go three minutes without air, you can go three days without water, and you can go 30 days without food. So you decide what's more important, food or water. Um, so what we've got here is we've got some water tanks. Now these water tanks are uh, not really water tanks, they're, 50, they're 275 gallon totes that have had other things in them like um, uh, Pepsi Cola or um, other food items or uh, non toxic items. And so, what we're going to do here is we're using those as our part of our water storage. Now, we started out using 55 gallon drums, these two here are empty. Um, but you know what? You can't stack drums like that when they're full of water, because you can't you can't get to the water. Um, so they take up a lot of floor space. They're pretty expensive. Um, they do a good job for for storing water, but it's not very practical in reality. You can put them on the sides, but what we found is if you uh, oh, sorry for the wind there. If you uh, try to stack them on the sides by building some kind of a structure, they actually end up uh, collapsing because they're not, they're not strong on the side. They're not made to have pressure pushed against them like that. They're made to have pressure pushed you know, up and down on them. So I looked at a lot of different uh, ways to do water storage and uh, decided that, you know what? These totes here, you can get them in 275 gallon or 330 gallon sizes. Um, this one tote here takes up the footprint of four, um, four of these here, and they hold five, uh, 275 gallons. So it, ta it, it has a, a less, a, less of a footprint than four of these 55 gallon drums. I don't have to build any supporting structure because they come in a metal cage. And uh, I don't have to get a pump or anything to get the water out because it has this great big spigot here on the bottom. And I can stack these so I can get another one on top. And so now I can hold 10, the equivalent of 10 of these barrels in the space of a footprint of uh, four of the 55 gallon drums. So it's a lot smaller footprint than by having to store 10 of those there. So uh, we're going to take this one here and we're going to stack it on top of this one here. We're going to connect the two, and I'll show you that in another video. And then we're going to have a gutter guy come over, and he's going to run gutters, and we're going to turn this into a rainwater retention system uh, with a first flush system that will come down here. It will clean the water, um, get rid of all the junk that's coming off the roof, and then fill these tanks up. And then we can use the water for, for water storage, and if there is no water and there is no rain, as you know we're in the second worst drought in Texas history, then you don't have a garden. You can't eat what you can't grow because you don't have water. So we'll have water for, to drinking, for drinking, sanitation, cooking, and for our garden. So that's the idea with our water retention system. So I'm going to, uh, today it's my job to uh, clean out the water retention, uh, the, the totes and get them ready for stacking and, and connecting. And then uh, we'll get the rain gutter guy out here and get it set up so we can do our water retention. So that's where I am today. This is the first video of probably two or three on our water retention system and um, how they work. Now these come pre-cleaned. I got these off Craigslist. They usually sell for you know, $125, $100, something like that. I would actually get these delivered for $75 from a, from a really good source. And he cleaned them all out. But I'm just kind of a 
belt and suspenders kind of guy and doing, I get my pressure washer here and I'm going to clean it out myself too. Just using some uh, organic cleaner, some LOC liquid organic cleaner and uh, it's going to wash them out the tops here. Uh, I'm going to use a sponge and wash off the tops in here and then I use a spray washer to uh, get the inside. And I just took this bottle here. This is actually 50-50% um, liquid organic cleaner and then the other 50% water and I just reached inside here and squirted it on the sides and I'll clean off with the pressure washer. So that's my job for today. I'll give you another update once um, I get these stacked and I'll show you how I connect them up together. This is uh, LDS Prepper out.